Hi guys, Ajita here. Welcome to this unboxing and uh, first impressions video of the Art Philosophy Color Confections Terrain Palette. So I got uh, my hands on this beautiful palette and I love the color choices in this uh, particular palette because I love painting florals and uh, this palette suits my requirement perfectly. So this comes in this uh, little tin uh, and there are 12 colors in this uh, palette and uh, this is a two fold out mixing palette and uh, you also get a swatch card with this i also got some art essentials uh, paint brushes i got them in three sizes and i wanted them uh, uh, i wanted to try them out as well so today is all about the first impressions of this uh, beautiful palette called terrain and my new brushes so these i got from my local craft store and they are in three sizes they are number eight zero and two so they are very soft made in sri lanka and uh, i will be trying them out so they are nicely packed super pointy wrapped in this uh, little cylindrical thingy and now i'm just going to wash them with plain water so after washing them once uh, they were so soft and uh, i think they'll be absolutely wonderful to do some water coloring so i think they are very delicate and uh, i will be taking extra care for these uh, br brushes so this is the blank swatch card you get along with this palette and we will be doing all our swatches right on it so this is the tin and all the half pans are nicely placed in this uh, tin very securely they don't move around and uh, i have to just pop this out so that i can take out my uh, pans carefully so i will just uh, take this little metallic uh, sheet out of this tin and then we will uh, just start, try to release the pans by pulling this little knob out and that will really help me to get uh, the pans out and uh, unwrap them they look like little candies and i love it so there's this paper wrap and inside that there is a nice cellophane uh, wrapped around the paint and it's super easy to remove them I love the way they look right now but uh, you have to do it because otherwise the palette won't be of use. So aesthetically this is perfect and uh, now I'm go just going to unwrap both the layers from this uh, pan and this is such a satisfying process. I loved doing this and I wished I had 10 more such palettes to unwrap. I have included the entire unwrapping footage in this because I know you will also love watching it. I have fast forwarded a bit and once that is done, I'll come back and we'll do the swatch.
so the unwrapping is done and now you can see all the pans and this is how they look when they are completely dry i'm just going to press uh, the little knobs uh, around these pans so that they are very well held together and uh, now we'll just start doing the swatching and for that i'm going to use my eight number brush this is a new brush uh, i wanted to try today and so we will begin with the first color which is called fern and uh, the paints are so creamy and buttery i just hardly touch it with a little amount of water on my paintbrush and it goes on super smooth so the coverage is also very nice this is almost like a true green and it is a beautiful light green shade so i have my mason jar full of water next to me and i'm going to clean my brush very well between uh, the next uh, between every swatch so the next shade is called spanish moss and uh, this is a very beautiful lime green color and uh, it is more yellowish than the first one as compared to the fern and it is also very beautiful so uh, these are perfect colors for spring cards and uh, since i love doing a lot of variation in my uh, foliage i am going to absolutely love this uh, palette so the next one is wine leaf this is uh, again a green grass green kind of a green shade a little blue in this and it is absolutely beautiful so i just uh, take a little water in my brush and uh, uh, try to get a little paint and these these are very well pigmented beautiful beautiful shades the next one is called early spring again as i said this palette is perfect for all your spring cards and uh, this color is called early spring a beautiful green a light green again and uh, which will complement a lot of beautiful floral illustrations and you can make more layers on top of this the next one is balsam this is uh, number 125 from this palette this is the darkest green in this uh, uh, palette it is quite blue and uh, i really really like it so this is a very different green good for your uh, eucalyptus leaves so the last green is a willow tree and this is such a beautiful light green more towards yellow again there is uh, not a lot of difference between spanish moss and willow tree but both the shades are very very pretty so with this we are moving on towards our brighter colors and the first one is called blue shadow this is number 127 absolutely gorgeous blue shade and um, i am absolutely in love with this you can recreate you can mix this uh, color with so many uh, shades here shades of blues and create your own greens and uh, that will be so unique so you can just pick a little blue from uh, this uh, pan and mix it up with any of the greens and you'll have a different green the next one is sour wood this is a beautiful red color red and there is no pink shade as far as i i can't see any pink pinkness in this this is just pure red and uh, absolutely gorgeous highly pigmented one of my favorites so the next one is called crab apple this is the lightest uh, from this pan and uh, this is a very very pale pink the pigmentation is not that great i would say you might have to build it uh, layer by layer but for a flat first layer of your floral it'll look very beautiful and uh, it'll go very well with sour wood so uh, the next one is called maple 130 this is a true maple color a little orangey ochre color perfect for all your uh, autumn and fall cards the next one is uh, purple smoke tree a very beautiful purple shade and uh, even this shade can be mixed with uh, others in this palette to create more shades of uh, uh, blues reds and uh, you can add a lot of variation with this so now with this we come to the last shade of this uh, palette which is called sassafras 
I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but this is a beautiful golden ochre color and I absolutely love it. So even this shade can be mixed with your greens to create more shades of greens. So this is it. I hope you liked this little uh, review and uh, I'll play with this uh, palette and get back to you with more uh, thoughts. For as far as now i absolutely love it and uh, i'm planning to keep this right on top of my desk so that i can reach it reach to it more of so i hope you enjoyed this little review and if you did do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more such reviews and uh, color palette first impressions let me know in the comments and i will uh, do that for you thank you so much once again bye bye take care